Okay, now we're going to do target verify. And we're going to use a silver target, 10 ounce silver. Um, there's the target out that direction. Okay, I'm going to put it on TV and back way out because it's going to move the line, if it's a good target, at least 45 degrees to the right. So let's see where it's at. Here we go. Here it is. That's where the line shifted to. So we're going to put our first stake down. Now, it takes time. If you notice, that line's gone. It's because it moved to the right, shifted. Shifted right there. Over time, it's going to move back to the original position and stay. As long as it stays, it's a good target. If it moves any left and disappears, it's bad. So let's see if the line has moved any more. It's still moving a little bit right there. It's gradually moving back. So it was there. Now it's there. And it will move back. It has that much distance left to go. We can check and see where it's at now. Now I want to tell you on the LRL 500, it takes longer for this to take place. On the earth field, it happens in less than 10 minutes because of the difference in power of the transmitter coil. Okay. We just got that much more distance to go. Had to go get some more tent pegs. I ran out. TV is good to determine if a target is worth going after before you even start digging or spending a lot of time on it. Uh, these tests have shown to be pretty true. Different people have tested different sites and over the years have determined this to work. Okay, you see the line has moved directly in, I mean directly in line with the with the silver. So the line has returned. Now, let's see if it's moving any more to the um, left, and it's not. It's staying where it's at. So it hasn't moved yet. Coming back from the other direction, I'm basically in the same place I was before. It's okay. It's a good target. It didn't go left at all. If it went left, it would be bad. It stayed right there. So that's considered a good target. Stayed right in place. Now you can let this sit for 30 minutes or more to make sure. I would. This is just a demonstration. It's okay target. Okay, now we're going to do some testing with silver ore and TV. Anytime you're set for silver and it has other elements mixed in with it, that will cause a larger ring. Now, I'm on um, 
EWC 0 and I'm on IC. Let's see what the lines look like. That's just a big hunk of rock. I got a picture of it there. You'll see it. Okay, that's that target. We know that one's out there. You line yourself up good. Now we're going to approach from the other side so we can see. You want to walk around with your body just like you see me with your shoulder always to your generator. It's very important to stay on the line. You're going to get your best response. Walking around. Okay. Now if you notice something, okay, on the on the 10 ounce bar, my lines, when I marked them, were opposite. In other words, I walked over the line and marked on both directions. This, as soon as I hit the line, I mark it. That could be the difference between solid metal and mineral. Or in this case, or just check and make sure because you always want to go back a number of times make sure your lines not moving because sometimes the line will move on you depending on the distance you want to wait till it settles down okay say I'm saying there's a ring around it because you see how wide that is now I'm going to show you I'm going to walk towards the oar and I'm going to mark when I hit the edge of that ring, my rod's going to close. Remember I told you, you only, that's the, just an indication you're hitting something. That's all it is. It's not leading you anywhere. It's not pointing to anything. Your body is walking into a field and the rod's closing and saying, hey man, there's something right here. Just because your rod closes does not mean that's where the target's at. You have to determine where the target's at. See, there's a good sized ring around there. It's probably about eight foot ring. So, let's see what we're going to do here. And back around. Okay, that line's gone. Okay, I switched to TV. I'm showing you the TV on it. And I know I'm out of frame, but that's the way the line moved to. It moved to the left. Okay, which would indicate normally a bad target. I went ahead and marked it. But let's see what happens. Now it went from those two and shift it over to there. Now if I'd have kept going I'd have hit that other line just like I did here. That means that's a bad target but let's see what happens. We're going to do the same thing and track it. Make sure that it's not coming back towards the line. If it is coming back towards the line, which it is, it is coming back towards the line so that changes things okay normally if it was a bad target it would keep going left and disappear altogether it's moving back to the line original line position which you should have already marked to use an IC only and a weight cancel of zero or if you canceled it out using EWC to know where your line's at, a good mark on your line. Okay, still moving. 
I'm going to move in. I'm going to mark that one. Just so the pegs are being kind of in the order. Now remember, TV will cancel rings a certain amount, but if it's a big enough target, it will still stay in. And as you can see, the ring is smaller than it was before from the other pegs. I'm just moving the peg over. Okay, now, now that the line moved back, let's check and see where these two pegs are. That one's gone. Now the, line, the ring around it is half the size it was before. So I'm moving it. Your target will always be in the center of your ring. Let's see where this one's at. Okay, that one's moved half the distance also on the other side. Okay, now. It was there. It moved to the left. It meant it was no good. But it started moving back, which means mineral deposit of silver. Or it also could mean your target is in a container and there's another element interfering. So let's see something. Let's walk here. here to there. It's just showing that the line, I'm just showing you the line is still still holding and that's what's important. The line needs to hold its position. So over time even if this line moved back left and disappeared I wouldn't fool with it. With a reaction like this I can either say well it's a mineral deposit of silver or or it's silver in a container.